what's up what's up thank you for coming back to really appreciate you doing so um today got a special one you know me i like the obscure shoes i like the fashionable but also technical and and very uh multifaceted if you will you can rock these kicks uh when you are absolutely training this is a trainer a racer um you also can rock them casually because these are just absolutely stunning so i first became aware of this brand it's a swedish brand like who knew i know about volvo and ikea didn't know about this uh i would venture a guess to say i would go as far to say as it is the adidas or, or the nike of sweden where this brand has made some big time roads in the cycling and, and training community. Um, now, lately, they've been gearing more toward running. I actually came upon them from a friend of mine in Sweden who is uh, a track and field athlete. She's not a distance runner. And so, you know, you'll often hear me or if you see me comment on other platforms, like I love Ed Bud stuff, but I'll always comment down in the, in the comments. I'll say, hey, you know, not only distance runners are wearing training shoes. Uh, everybody who runs needs a good supportive uh, cushion shoe, uh, very specific shoes. And so uh, the shoes that cross over the best are the ones that typically get my attention. And then they got to look good, too. I mean, let's not front. We got to be fresh, right? Got to be fly. So today we are having a look at the craft CTM ultra carbon the ultra line is uh, their top of the line runner uh, lots of great features to it and it is split into two you've got the ctm ultra carbon which obviously by the name denotes a carbon fiber plate in the midsole and then we've got the ctm ultra the ultra is the same material mostly without the carbon fiber plate um also i believe the foam in the midsole albeit the same shape is of a different variety so in this shoe the ultra carbon the foam in this one is called vault foam that's what they're calling this one i i venture a guess that it's you know not quite zoom x or it, it, you know it's Kind of like light strike if i'm being honest um maybe not light strike pro but in between light strike and light strike pro to give you a sort of viscosity and 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 uh, and bounce ability score if you will um very much light strike light strike pro not quite light strike pro definitely not zoom x mush um but there's a there's a hidden little trick to it anyway let's get into it so the vault foam um, super cushion you've got that traditional wedge we're looking at I believe the stack is 40 to 30 so in most shoes there's a dramatic drop off on the front um, for instance in most of the Adidas super shoes you see a really big drop at the toe so you're talking 40 and then all of a sudden there's this drastic drop um, this one feels much more gradual this one feels really really smooth really really smooth um i've been in this one for the last three days worn them casually worn them coaching um worn them a little bit working out i haven't put a, a, a heavy you know plyo or sprint workout in them yet um i anticipate it's going to be good because the way that they feel is absolutely amazing i know i know i'm going to get to the look here in a second it's a lot but i'm gonna get to it trust um as you slip the shoe on the heel counter is is non-existent really there's two pads on the inside that sit just on either side of your Achilles um, they uh, provide just as much support as any I've worn um, you've got a sort of fused laser cut upper entry there you know the collar of the shoe is not very padded it's very thin um, very skin tight hugging um, not in a sense that it will give you a blister or anything and I run sockless so again I don't put in mileage I, I do plyos and sprints but I run sockless because I need to connect to the shoe and socks make my feet slide but that doesn't hamper at all the fit or the feel 
it sits snug to my skin, but it's nice and soft, almost suede, you know, material in that in that upper collar. You move to the tongue. It's a gusseted tongue inside, but let's see if I can get close enough for you to see. Yeah, you can see it good in the light. So it's a very airy. It's got like this super thin layer of neoprene, and then it's an open mesh tongue. Um, elastic, very snug. Once you get your foot in, you feel really good. Um, the upper around the eyelets, and this is on this model, it's harder to see because of what they're calling the dazzle camo. We'll get there. Stop rushing me. Stop rushing me. Calm down. So the eyelets are fused down. So all the eye stays are flat. Nothing there. I mean, there's really not much to the upper. Support wise, you can kind of see it crossing the toe right there so you you get a space for the the ball of your foot for the the first knuckle of that big toe metatarsal there you're going to get some space there some coverage but the cool thing about this shoe that is pretty unique is that it's all mesh and it's a very thin layer of mesh that open mesh is a much different feel to a lot of the knit shoes that are that kind of hug down on the foot and initially when I tried it on, I was a little bit disappointed. I'm not going to lie. I was like, okay, how is this going to work? Like I'm used to having a very snug fit. I like a snug, almost spike like fit when I'm running, but this gave me toe room. And that was a little bit different for me to, to contend with. So one last little bit on the technical specs. Again, vault foam carbon fiber let's get to this outsole and then they actually list all the information on a nice little inside tab there you go nice little inside tab telling you all the all the particulars of the shoe that major wedge with the wing on the back you know that might not be what some are liking but i'm loving it it's super unique um i am extremely impressed and bewildered about how they did this upper and what they call the dazzle camo but we'll get to it i'm not gonna talk about it yet i'm not gonna talk about it yet outsole is lugged and i mean lugged up this actually lends itself to the ride of the shoe to the feel of the shoe you've got traction all over this place but it's good it's really good stable um you're gonna feel much better on grass uh maybe some loose gravel not a whole lot you know but you're getting traction on the roads it's going to maybe take a little bit of getting used to because that lug pattern actually sits you up and it floats you a little bit you can feel it working um but when you're when you're it's like knobby tires on concrete you're going to feel that little bit of instability when you're when you're not maybe putting the full pressure into the shoe. Walking, jogging, I definitely felt it. But uh, not to the point where it felt completely unstable, but it just took a little bit of getting used to. I knew I was up on knobs when I was doing the running. So that's just a little note to get used to. I'm, um, all right, fine. Let's get into it. Dazzle camel, y'all dazzle camo i'm talking dazzle camo <laughs> this thing is crazy everywhere i wore it yesterday i was out and about with the family everywhere i wore it, it was getting mad looks like neck snaps with people trying to check out the shoes see what they were um and then you tell them their crafts and they're like huh like you made those like arts and crafts i'm like no well yes i have hydro dipped shoes before uh, but no, craft from Sweden. You got running shoes from Sweden. Like, it's blowing people's minds, y'all. These are incredible. I mean, like, on par with style, fashion. I could wear these to fashion. We can turn heads for real. From looking at it, I truly do believe they hydro dipped this. I don't think there's paint. It's a little bit incomplete all around. And I'm not, I'm not mad at it at all. You can see a little bit right there that kind of overran the the craft tab there. I don't know. I don't know how they did it. 
and, and got it to line up with the upper other than if you fill out the shoe and you dipped it top down that's the only way i can see it because it you know it applicates a little bit on the sides and underneath there so that's the style quotient you know i love a black tongue with black laces i love that monochrome look down the middle that is very very me i don't like when my laces don't match my tongue that's a weird little style idiosyncrasy i have and i admit that but it's fresh all right and if you thought that was the end result no that's not all the insoles of the ultra carbon and the ultra carbon 2 are actually tpe insoles now i buy these aftermarket all the time but peep this it's got the, the little pellets, the TPE pellets. I think these are PIBA based. Whereas your boost insoles are TPU. So let's see. Okay. You can kind of see the difference here. This is a Hefe Lux insole that is definitely TPU. And this is definitely more of a PIBA based. You can tell the difference in the squish and the viscosity. Um, similar technique to beating it up like that, but it definitely is a different feel from a more what we would call boost based. So incredible. And this is the insole that comes with it. So it's not some flimsy insole like most shoes get when you're first buying a shoe. It's not the the standard insole this insole gives you some bounce right away so when i'm wearing it initially i'm like oh my goodness is it coming from the insole that ctm insole or is it coming from the shoe the plate this is what i would call definitely greater than the sum of its parts this shoe is fantastic and not because any one thing is getting it done. I really do think that it is everything from the ground up, from the, the lug pattern and the great traction. It's a great lasted shoe. It's not too narrow. It's not super wide. Um, great cushioning, great support into the vault foam, which is definitely giving you some feedback. Um, and, and it's not too squishy. To the point where you don't feel like you're connecting with the ground properly into the airy mesh upper which has some toe box room that takes some getting used to if you're used to uh, more snug knit shoes but that's great the gusseted tongue with great breathability the collar with the the non-heel counter but the padded uh section behind your achilles the the skin tight fit but velvety suede collar like this is a 10 out of 10 for me this shoe is going to stay in my collection long after i'm done running in it i'll refresh because i know where to find these insoles and i will rock these forever yo seriously the craft ctm ultra carbon is a fantastic beautiful shoe Appreciate you rocking with me. Amazing kicks. We're going to be having a couple more things show up here in the near future. Um, I know it's different. You know, my channel, again, I'm not sponsored. I don't get people sending me shoes for reviews and those things. If I buy it, I'm showing it to you. So, when I buy the next pair, you'll be the first to see it. Peace.